Well, for my money, he's got all the facial characteristics of a criminal. You know, the, the narrow chin and the eyes close together and slack jaw with a prominent overbite. What's that screaming? I don't hear any screaming. Do you, Opie? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? What freezer? There's no screaming. No one's in here. <laughs> Who in the hell is in there? Barney? That horrible beast. That's the last time he gives me a naughty grope. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I've horribly disfigured him, and I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> I'll tell you who's in it. 150 pounds of Barney. 150 pounds of Barney? 150 pounds of deputy meat, hog-tied at ball gag. You've really gone over the edge this time, you crazy bitch. I'm surprised you didn't kick in your teeth. Oh, that asshole. I've got scratches all over my chest Now, now what happened? Thighs. Did he make a move for your crotch pie? Yes, yeah, so I hit him in the head with a hammer. You did? <laughs> Came at me with no pants and told me he wanted to poke my sugar hole. <laughs> well, the pervert will probably die if you leave him in there. Let's take a look. Why has he got burns all over? My God, please. Gomer, what you doing? Playing marbles with Opie, Andy. Aunt B, what the fuck? He's gonna find Barney. We could kill him, too. We already have too much meat. Oh, shit! What's the matter? There's blood and a bad smell! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get inside right now. Back up, back up. Come on, everybody inside. It's Barney's blood! Opie, shut the fuck up. Get in the house. Everybody <laughs> get in the house. <coughs> I ain't never seen that happen before. <laughs> I don't know why Fraser would ever need to bleed. Have you ever seen that happen, Andy? Gomer, get the fuck out of here. All right, I'm getting the fuck out, but you know what they say. No, Gomer, what the fuck do they fucking say? That stupid hayseeds like me are pretty fucking worthless. Come on, O. Your hair makes you an autumn. You wear makeup yet? <laughs> Sorry, Andy. I know I shouldn't have let Gorma play near the freezer. There's only one thing you can do now, and that's butcher Barney up and eat him. Oh, I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Motherfucking <laughs> pussies, I couldn't. What are you gonna do? Oh, fiddle shits. Maybe. Oh, I couldn't do that either. What? Offer the butcher my sugar hole? You're going to have him butcher Barney in exchange for screwing you? Well, everyone wants to. Well, make sure you clean that thing out good. Oh, Andy. Well, you better think of something, or the sheriff's house is going to stink like dead pop. <laughs> not, Miss B. I am a little lonely today, if you know what I mean. What can I do for you? Mr. Foley, you're a dangerous pervert, aren't you? Well, sure. The whole town knows that. Well, Deputy Five made sex talk at me, so I killed him with a hammer. <laughs> in my freezer, and, and I was hoping that if I let you ravage me, do whatever you want, shove meats and cutlery in my sugar hole... Sure, Miss B. You take off your panties and wait in the freezer. I'll butcher Barney for you. Oh, I'm so grateful, Mr. Foley. I'm really looking forward to a good hard fuck. And to get rid of Barney, of course. I'll run over to the barber shop, get some cocaine, and then make up some meat dildos. That sounds good. And a little frightening. Oh, don't you worry. I want you to pound me like hamburger. Oh, Miss B. I'm going to pound and grind you like a rump roast. Ooh, that sounds... Well, my dress... I don't want to get it all meat greasy. Miss B, you know as well as I do that that dress is going to be destroyed. <laughs> you just lie back while I fill you. Full of meat. Oh, Mr. Foley, 
feel so romantic. There, that's the last of him. Where are we going with all this deputy meat? Just shut your gob open and stop pulling. <laughs> well, do I smell like meat? Sure enough. He gave it to me good, the scoundrel. I made sure it was all secret. Country secret. I should hope it wouldn't make the papers. If I ever see that Mr. Foley again, I'll... Well, it's all over now. Best to forget it. Forget it? Did you know he shoved a rack of lamb in me? Well, I'll be. Oh, my. It's getting me hot. Come on, let's go kill Opie. Well, wait a minute. I might need to go back to the butcher's and write his cosmic meat missile. <laughs>